The Russian Army's combat losses in Ukraine from February 24, 2022 to May 2, 2024 amount to about 470,870 invaders, including another 1,030 troops killed or wounded in action in the past day, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said this in a post on Facebook. According to the General Staff, the Russians also lost a number of equipment, in particular, 20 tanks, 29 armored vehicles, 20 artillery systems, for air defense, 23 UAVs, 49 vehicles, 8 units of special equipment, but although this, Russian forces committed a division to take several more villages in Ukraine's east during the past week, as Ukraine's European allies frantically increased their weapons pledges and the full effect of long-delayed US military aid became apparent. Lieutenant Colonel Nazar Valashin, spokesman for Ukraine's Kortitsia group defending this area, said Russia had committed four brigades to the offensive, about 20,000 men, and that Ukrainian reserves had been sent in to bolster defenses. Fierce battles for Okaratine continued, but the Russian advance had already created a 5-kilometer deep salient into Ukrainian free territory. The Telegraph, a British newspaper, reported that Russia had attacked during a brigade-level rotation on the front lines. Recently, Ukrainian fighters attacked the military training ground of the occupying Russian army in the Kuban village of Lugansk region. The fighters, who determined the location of the training ground where the manpower and combat equipment were gathered, with a drone, fired three strikes with Atakins cluster missiles. As a result, most of the invaders and equipment in the area were destroyed. The few surviving soldiers tried to escape. Russian telegram channels say that there are more than 40 dead and this number will increase. German Skynex will enhance air defense capabilities of Ukraine. Germany has transferred another Skynex air defense system to Ukraine. This system is capable of intercepting drones and combating missiles without utilizing costly resources. Skynex is a surface-to-air artillery system developed by Rheinmetall. Introduced in November 2021, it belongs to the category of short-range air defense systems similar to the German Gepard self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. Its primary armament is the 35mm Erlikon Mk3 automatic cannon with a firing range of 4,000 meters and a rate of fire of 1,000 rounds per minute. The cannon module includes an X-band tracking radar for autonomous target search. Skynex demonstrated its capability by successfully intercepting a swarm of eight small UAVs during testing. It uses programmable 35mm ahead ammunition developed by Rheinmetall, which is more cost-effective compared to missile-based air defense systems. These ammunition types are immune to electronic countermeasures during firing. The system incorporates the Erlikon Skymaster command and control system, allowing remote operation from any location. It comes equipped with both high explosive fragmentation and armor piercing projectiles. It particularly offers programmable ahead ammunition, which enhances firing efficiency and reduces ammunition expenditure, especially against complex and maneuverable targets. One significant advantage of Skynex over other air defense systems is its cost effectiveness. While a missile for Iris T can cost between 300,000 euros and 500,000 euros, destroying an aerial target with Skynex can be as low as 4,000 euros. The system itself cost $90.5 million. In addition to countering drone swarms, Skynex can also engage cruise missiles and operate as part of an integrated air defense system, receiving target information from a centralized command center. In December 2022, German media reports citing sources revealed that Rheinmetall would manufacture two Skynex systems for an unnamed country, likely Ukraine. By April 2023, Prime Minister Denis Shmihal announced that Skynex was already operational in Ukraine's airspace. The first battery of the system, produced by Rheinmetall, Italia, and funded by the German government under a $160 million contract, was delivered that year. Furthermore, Germany recently updated its military aid to Ukraine, including armored vehicles, ammunition, and the Skynex air defense system. Thank you.